All right, good evening, guys, or good night, practically. It's like 11.30 at night. I wanted to let you know why I only did one winter update video today. Um, I had planned on doing a few, just like I did yesterday, um, since we are down in the teens and all of that good stuff. But I got a really good explanation. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize if it is loud in here. There are 14 fans and two dehumidifiers running in my house right now. So apparently, there is a pipe that is in my attic that was insulated and had two layers of insulation on top of it that busted today. And we heard a loud pop um, from the time the pipe busted to the time I got the water off was 12 minutes. Uh, had to dig the uh, shutoff out, uh, out because we've had so much rain that all this dirt had washed into the uh, water meter and I had to dig it out just in order to um, cut the water off and the ground was frozen. So. Um, did that with my bare hands still right now have dirt on my hands because we have no water in the house um, It has been awful mitigation company was here for about seven hours. They are coming back tomorrow to finish up They are thinking that my living room floor is even gonna have to come out and They mentioned two walls more than likely my cabinets and butcher block countertops that I love so very very much are gonna have to come out so it is going to be a fun next several weeks and maybe hopefully less than a month. Um, I work for a general contractor, so of course I have hired him to repair this damage um, and I hope he can get me back up into a normal lifestyle very, very quickly. But we will see. My plumber will be here um, tomorrow morning, um, hopefully pretty early. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need an electrician um, because we had water coming out the lights even in the kitchen, um, but we will see um, I'm gonna give you a tour of the house I'm gonna try to talk really really loud because there are so many fans and dehumidifiers running that it is very Very loud, so I apologize in advance for that, but I want to give you a tour and show you What all I have been dealing with today? Um, it looked a lot worse um, During the whole process than it does now and at the very, very end of this video, so please watch it all the way through. I, my cameras in the kitchen caught the ceiling falling. The kids were actually in the kitchen when it fell. It's hilarious. I mean, absolutely hilarious. Those kids hauled ass out of that kitchen so fast, I'm surprised that they did not fall over each other. And I know this crap is not funny. Trust me, I'm living it right now. But sometimes you've just got to find the good moments in the bad, and that definitely was one of the good moments. Um, you will laugh so hard. Don't be drinking anything when you get to the end of this video, because I guarantee you, you will spit it out when you see their reaction to that ceiling falling. Um, let's start here in the living room. Right now in the living room is the majority of my kitchen. They have unloaded everything from my kitchen, with the exception of what's in my cabinets and in my pantry, into my living room so it is a hot mess i've mentioned this in several of my videos i'm extremely ocd i love my house to be spotless so this is um very very rough for me right now so here is the living room this is actually the kitchen right here unloaded into the living room i mean it is a freaking mess i've got um, onions and potatoes i guess i can peel those while i'm watching a freaking movie or something um but there's all kinds of crap yep i've got a brooder in the living room that thing stays in here year round it has my malaysian saramas as they first hatch in there you know you are a crazy chicken lady when you've got a freaking brooder in the living room but yep a lot of contents in this living room it even broke one of my beautiful beautiful globes um, I've got three light fixtures and each light fixture has three globes. These were so hard to get a hold of and had such a hard time getting them. Every time I've ordered them, they arrived broken and I had to do it over and over and over again. So yay, that will be fun. Got some incubators. Um, these were not in the kitchen. These, uh, these are my hatching incubators. So they are, right now we've got some ducks in there. We've got some coach and bantams in there. And we've got some ceramas over here hatching. So yay this is going to be fun trying to manage these incubators in this mess so let's go and look at the rest of the house the floor in the kitchen and the hallways and stuff looked just like what you're seeing right here the uh, lighter portion of the floor is the flooring underneath that is what was in the house when i first bought it 
and I put this flooring in over the top of it. So as you can see, they've ripped it out. Um, down that hallway right there, they've ripped out a lot of the base and in the kitchen as well. So it's gonna get loud, guys. And like I said, I'll try to talk loud, so hopefully you can hear me. Um, they've ripped out the whole entire ceiling in this kitchen, the light fixtures. Um, when the water originally started leaking, it was coming from up here. I stupidly had my daughter trying to catch it in a bowl, not thinking it was going to be that much. And before we knew it, it was coming from all over the freaking kitchen. Um, my beautiful butcher block countertops are a hot mess. They are wet. They've got drywall and all kinds of stuff. It's so gross. Blinds are nasty and dirty. Even my cabinets got wet down here. If Kaylin will move. Um, you can see that they were wet. These fans are starting to dry them out a little bit though. Even my oven has water inside of it. Um, yep, not a lot, but there is water in there. It's all down into that. It's so nasty and gross. They ripped out the flooring in the base and the pantry and all of that good stuff. Fridge is right out in the middle. Thank goodness the fridge is still plugged in because we've got a ton of deer meat in there. Yay! But these fans are all over the place, um, and they're very, very loud. I mean, there's just tons of them sitting everywhere in this house trying to dry it out right now. Um, there is another one, a dehumidifier. They ripped all this flooring in the base out coming down this hallway. There's another fan. I've got a closet here that they've also ripped the flooring in the base out of. This is my master bedroom, and as you can see, they ripped out a lot of the carpet in here. Um, I have this massive computer desk, so as you can see, they did not finish ripping out the carpet because moving this thing is not easy at all. This is usually where all my incubators sit. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them that sit in here. I've got one of them shut down because it was time to go into lockdown. I did not... Uh, reset that incubator um needless to say i was a little busy um, and don't think i'm going to reset that one like i normally would all my other incubators are just over here a hot mess um, not very ideal um, it's not going to be fun getting to those the dehumidifiers are more than likely going to mess the humidity up in my incubator so that is going to be fun my room is a hot mess right now guys um, got stuff all over the freaking place but yeah, that is what I've been doing today. Um, it has been fun. Not really. So, like I said before, we have no water to the house. Plumber's coming in the morning. Um, out of everything, the house is a hot freaking mess. And I am worried about how the heck am I going to get water to these chickens, quail, rabbits, turkeys, ducks, and all of that. That I've been struggling already for two days to keep fresh, unfrozen water to. Um, now I have no water. Um, it's going to be fun. I've got some spare waters I'm out here in the garage that are filled up right now. So hopefully my plumber can get here, get the water back on, or get that pipe fixed and get the water back on um, before I run out of water tomorrow. Um, this is awful. I don't wish this on anybody. Um, it was, it's not a good time right now. But thank you all for watching this video. Um, stay tuned till the very, very end. I will put that video uh, right there at the very ending. I'm telling you, you're going to laugh. It is so freaking funny. Or maybe it's just me. Maybe it's my anxiety is so high right now because of everything going on that that is uh, me, I guess, kind of coping with my anxiety and pain and finding humor in uh their reaction but it, it's funny they they run out of that damn kitchen so fast i mean like i said I, i'm shocked they didn't fall getting out of there or run over the top of each other but thank you guys and i will see y'all later on the whole thing i